Hi, Dan Goodstein here from IRPA AI and the Digital Enterprise Institute. Welcome to Vendor Spotlight. Today I'm joined by Bill Galusha. He's the Director of Product Marketing for Abby. Bill, good to be with you. Thanks for having me. So um, for those of you that uh, on this, on this uh, video that don't know Abby, give us a little sense of the organization and also your, your role and your experience. Yeah, so I'm uh, the Director of Product Marketing. I've been with Abby for about a year and a half. Um, Abby's actually just, just celebrated its 30 year anniversary. Uh, so we've been around for quite some time. Um, you know, Abby has is, is, uh, been really focused um, over the course of these, these 30 years around um, delivering technology and solutions that can help automate the processing of uh, structured and unstructured content. So a lot of times when people think of Abby, they think of uh, our OCR technology. So the ability to digitize uh, paper, digitize text, and turn it into uh, machine-readable information. But, um, you know, Abby's technology and solutions um, over the last um, decade or so has really expanded beyond um, kind of that core OCR technology and, uh, and really have focused on a lot of the other AI technology as it relates to processing uh, content. So we're really excited about kind of where the market's headed and, and, and kind of how we're positioned today. So I want to ask you more about how you guys fit into the RPA space, but um, before we do that, any any uh, specific industries or other areas of focus for you guys right now? We, you know, we sell our, our technologies and products into a number of different industries. So it really, if you think of um, documents, um, structured and unstructured documents and other types of content, um, anything that's associated with getting information out of a out of a document and putting that into a system or a business process um, is really where we fit. So, I mean, the obvious um, industries that come come to mind are are banking, insurance, just because you have a lot of a lot of content that's generated uh, both inside and outside the organization. Um, we do a lot around uh, automating processes, document centric processes that involve uh, customer interactions. Uh, so certainly those are key industries. Transportation, logistics, you know, you see a lot of, a lot of doc content and documents being generated there that need to be processed. So being able to understand that information is, is crucial. Um, and then really when you look around cross-industry, I think one of the common use cases that uh, we see quite a bit of um, is, is within finance and accounting. So, so anything around invoices, purchase orders, sales orders, it's, it's amazing, but you know, a certain percentage of those types of transactions are, are automated and all digital, um, but you still see a, quite a few um, um, mid-sized organizations as well as large enterprise organizations that globally are still um, still doing a lot of that work manually. So you take an invoice for an example, and you know, you have a, a finance clerk who's taking that data out of an invoice and inputting it into a, an ERP system. And we see a lot of that, and that's really where Abby can fit in as a uh, as a technology provider to, to automate uh, a lot of that processing. So um, talk more about that. So for someone watching who may you know, be kind of familiar with the automation space, but they, they're thinking, hey, I, I don't know Abby that well. Uh, how do you guys fit into the RPA space? And I think you mentioned uh, before we started that you have uh, a recent acquisition in this space as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we've been um, focused around the RPA market for, for about four years now. Um, probably one of the first early vendors to to realize the opportunity and kind of what some of the RPA vendors like Blue Prism and UiPath and Automation Anywhere were really starting to do early on. Um, and initially, it started with just licensing our OCR engine. So our, we provide our OCR technology as an SDK. So it allows an ISV like a Blue Prism or UiPath or an Automation Anywhere um, to embed that OCR technology. So that really gave us an opportunity to, to build up a brand and a recognition within the RPA market. Um, and that certainly benefited us. Um, but OCR really is kind of the, the starting point to digitization and automation and really where um, most of these, these organizations are headed to is using other products that we offer like Flexi Capture and, and our new offering Vantage that, uh, that applies not just the OCR, but the ability to apply machine learning as it relates to doing classification and extraction of information. Um, and that's really where, you know, you get into more, some of more of the AI technologies that, um, that Abby provides that really is necessary in order to, to automate processes that involve uh, unstructured content. So, 
Um, and so we continue to see a lot of growth and a lot, a lot of opportunity uh, with these partnerships that we've established within this market. So how would you differentiate what you guys do versus uh, kind of more the traditional BPM uh, tools? So we work with a number of the BPM um, um, vendors. Uh, uh, Pega, Appian, they're, they're both partners of ours. Um, we work with some of the other um, um, some of the other ECM BPM vendors as well too. So you can think about what Abby does is it's really a specialty. Um, so you, you, when you've invested you know, so much into this type of technology over the last 30 years, um, it's very difficult for another vendor from the outside to say all of a sudden they're gonna try to go off and do something similar to what Abby provides. Um, there's a lot of specialty, uh, specialization that goes along with developing OCR technology, applying machine learning specifically to content. Um, so I think that really differentiates us from some of the um, smaller niche vendors that you may be seeing and hearing about um, within, um, within the market that, you know, frankly, have seen the opportunity around RPA and are trying to capitalize on it. So I think if you look at, you know, our special, specialization and what we do, um, our, our large uh, partner uh, community, so we sell not just direct, but we also sell through you know, traditional resellers as well as some of the many of the RPA consulting partners, the system integrators. Um, we're very much a global company, so we have representation across the globe, and I think that plays plays well in terms of uh, you know working with the different RPA vendors on these opportunities. Well, it's interesting you mentioned uh, you know, kind of the the piece before RPA, and then and then you also mentioned kind of AI. So you know, I've I've felt for a while that um, there was a need for sort of an end to end solution, and, and in fact, we're in the process of launching a new institute, Digital Enterprise Institute, to focus on just that. Right? How do you really create an end to end enterprise, and how do you um, go? How do you start with RPA, and how do you leverage AI, and how do you really create? Um, uh, really a platform type of approach. So what kind of intrigued me uh, and, and wanting to get you on here um, is that you guys seem to have a sort of a platform that, that enables digital transformation. Yeah, absolutely. So you can think of uh, our technology and our products as very complementary to other intelligent automation platforms. So RPA being one of those platforms, but certainly BPM. Um, we have large enterprises that are using Abby across many automation platforms. So it may be with one of the RPA tools, but also with the other BPM uh, platforms as well as ECM. So anytime you have a process or a need to, to put structure around content um, documents, that's really where Abby fits in. Um, you know, historically going back many years, the technology was used more at the end of a business process where you're digitizing content, getting some metadata off of those documents and putting it into repository so you can make it searchable. So think mortgage lending, processing, you know, even, you know, even some of the other, you know, financial related processes as well too. But right. today, typically what we're doing, it's, it's very much embedded into a, a transaction, into a process. Um, and that's really why. Uh, our technology fits very well into kind of RPA as, you know, as they're automating these different activities related to processes. So um, one of the differentiations that I, I find speaking to members often is uh, that there's a difference, I think, uh, I'm curious as to what you, what you guys feel, there's a difference between kind of digitization and, and, and true digital transformation. So how do you guys see that? So digitization, I think a lot of times people think of, you know, digitizing content, but digital transformation is, is really, you know, digitization is kind of just the first step to, to automation, right? So if you have paper, you have documents and images that are coming in, you know, the first step is to kind of put that content, that content into machine readable text. But that's really kind of, if you think of the different phases of automation, um, that's really phase one. Right. Um, but really where, where companies are focusing is on that phase two. It's, it's now, how do I put understanding and insight around that content? And that's really where you have to apply machine learning. That allows you to extract and find information within a document. Um, so you take like an invoice that's capturing headers, footers, line item details. Um, that's a pretty complex document. But um, you, you can look at banking and there's lots of very complex documents that are completely unstructured. That might be related to, say, a process of um, onboarding a new customer or a business entity. So know your customer is a very common use case we see. So, so when you talk about digital transformation, we're a very important part to that whole 
strategy within, within an enterprise organization because without being able to digitize content, understand that content, deliver insight, you know, the entire process uh, can quickly break down. So I want to I want to ask you uh, uh, about kind of the the vendor landscape. You mentioned some of the other players out there, and and I know you've worked with some of the other uh, players out there. So you've been at Abbey long enough. Uh, where do you get? Where do you see the key differentiators for you? And is there is there uh, something that you guys are doing that really nobody else is is doing out there? Yeah, there's a couple of things. So we've introduced. So our flagship product has been um, Flexi Capture. So you have partners, RPA partners like um, uh, UiPath who resell it. Um, we also partner with Blue Prism. So it, Flexi Capture is a very key part to our overall strategy and has, has driven a lot of our growth over the last um, last three years. Um, we have introduced a new product um, called Abbey Vantage. And Vantage is really directed at uh, more of the business users. So if you think in terms of what RPA has done, it's kind of turned the whole automation landscape and what enterprises want upside down. Um, the idea is they don't want lengthy, you know, many months or many years of project development to get one process automated. They want to automate as much as possible. Um, so that's really driven our strategy, which is how do we deliver technologies like OCR and machine learning and, and NLP technology within our products, but make it easy enough for, for the business user, or the business analyst to consume and use within their automation environment. So this could be the RPA tools, it could be BPM. And that's really what Vantage sets out to, 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 to do, is empower these business users so that they can inject our technology and what we call Vantage skills, which are really, you know, from a technical standpoint, are services that you can consume and use within the, the automation platforms like RPA and, and BPM. Okay. I think that's the biggest thing that we're seeing in, in a shift in the market and the expectation. And that's how I think when, when you look at us relative to some of the other competitors in the market, both new and and, and some of the old older traditional competitors, um, really positions us very well for the future. So what's the future look like, Bill? What should we expect from Abby over the next uh, 12 months or so? So it's, you know, we're going definitely through a, uh, a, a growth period. The last three years have been very good. Um, we're growing at 15 to 20% you know, year over year revenue. Um, so for a company that's been around for 30 years, yeah. pretty exciting. Um, it's interesting to see how the technology has kind of evolved and you're seeing, you know, some of the other um, bigger players start to start to get involved in some of the things that we, we do, um, the likes of Microsoft and, and Google and Amazon. Um, that's actually benefited us because it's put a spotlight on how important this technology is. And um, so that's certainly something that uh, we continue to watch. Um, but in terms of, you know, kind of where we're headed, um, we'll, we'll definitely grow the business organically. Um, we're building new products like the, Ab the Vantage product I mentioned. Um, we're also doing acquisitions. So we announced an acquisition with a Timeline PI. Um, which provides process intelligence as well as process discovery. Um, Timeline PI was also partnering with several of the RPA vendors as well too. So if you think in terms of, you know, what we call content IQ, so putting intelligence around content, um, what Timeline PI provides to the portfolio now is really what we call process IQ or process intelligence. So, and the process intelligence can be applied both at the, the beginning as well as during a process. So, applying process intelligence to discovering and understanding what processes you should automate, as well as, you know, once you've automated certain processes, being able to, to actually dig in and, 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 and track those processes and be able to understand, you know, what's working, what's not working, where are the bottlenecks, you know, what are, what are the expect, what are the possibilities of this process breaking down, say, you know, for, you know, in, in the next month. Yeah. So those are the kind of things that, make it very interesting as we build out what uh, what we see is kind of a digital IQ strategy that encompasses today content and then the new process uh, intelligence that we're, we'll, we'll be adding to the portfolio. Great. Well, Bill, I appreciate you joining us and sharing the story. And uh, if anybody watching has any questions for Bill, please feel free to reach out to me and I'll be happy to forward them along. Bill, thanks for joining us. Thanks so much.